Hello fellow physicists, once again it's Edward from Enfield Physics Tutor solving all your multiple choice question needs. In this question then we have a simple little circuit with three cells connected in parallel and we're asked to find the current through I, through R even, so that's what we're after. Each of these cells has an EMF of E and surprisingly the uh, exam board haven't marked any internal resistor so let's just do one just so we know where it is. I always like to draw diagrams for all my questions. First things first then, how do we add up or how do we deal with three cells that are connected in parallel in regards for their EMF? Well, it's actually not that, not that difficult. So if you consider two ideal cells now, so these both have no internal resistance, and let's say they both have an EMF of three, then ask yourself, what will this voltmeter read? Many of you will go instantly, ah, oh, three volts, but some of you might be not quite so sure. The reason it's three is because voltage doesn't really change along a piece of wire, unless you're doing the resistance of a length of nichrome wire practical, in which case it does. Point being that in electricity we make a lot of assumptions, and as in all physics, approximations. Since these two red, since the two wires along the red line are connected together, the voltage doesn't really significantly change along them. Therefore, the voltmeter will read three. What about the resistors? Well, the three internal resistors then are effectively just connected in parallel. So now we're ignoring the EMFs for a moment. And we just have three little internal resistors. As I'm sure you recall, the value of resistors in parallel is just using the 1 over formula. So 1 over RT in this case is 1 over R plus 1 over R plus, amazingly, another 1 over R which gives us 3 over small r. So therefore, the r total is effectively going to be little r over 3. In other words, we have now worked out that the total internal resistance in our circuit is simply just going to be r over 3, and that the total EMF remains at E. So now, let's redraw the circuit. Always a big fan of drawing circuits out when you simplify them. That gives us one cell with an internal resistance, the cell has an EMF of E, the internal resistance is R over 3, and that's connected to a load which has a value of capital R. In order to get the current in the circuit then, it's just a question of reaching for Ohm's law, V over I equals R, so the current is going to be I equals V over R. Well we know the values now, so let's put them in. So we can say that the current is going to be equal to E divided by the two resistors added together because R and the R over 3 are in series. So that's going to be R plus R over 3. And you might think, yippee, that's my answer, only of course that's not given as one of the possible answers. So we now have to decide what we're going to do with it. Well, this is just an algebra job now. So I'm going to go the long way through this. You might be able to solve the algebra much quicker. But I want to just take a complete method. So first of all, um, we don't like this. We have what I call a triple decker now because we've got like three levels of numbers in one answer. Not nice. So let's multiply both sides by r plus small r over 3. So that means that we now get i times r plus r over 3 equals e. Now I'm going to do two steps in one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything by 3 in an attempt to get rid of this 3 on the denominator and at the same time expand out that bracket. So that's going to give us 3i capital R plus i small r equals 3e. Now I'm going to factorise out the i from the left hand side which means that we have i equals 3r plus small r equals 3e. Coming up here and changing colour again all we need to do now is divide everything by what's in the bracket on the left hand side to give us what i equals so i is going to be 3e all divided by 3 big r plus small r. Now that's looking very promising and you can see that the answer is A. 